Hello, everybody. A very good afternoon. <laughs> it was lovely hearing everybody. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and uh, all the patients and Dr. Amruta and everybody who's spoken. It's a collective team effort. I will be talking about the uh, role of nutrition in cancer care Just today. Introduction, you have an yeah, I am uh, Dr. Komal Gandhi, the consultant nutritionist at the other song. Uh, we have started a holistic health clinic since a year and a half wherein uh, uh, because of uh, the stalwarts who are promoting uh, homeopathy along with that we have seen that even exercise as Dr. Amruta mentioned so we have a yoga teacher here and other healing practices and along with that nutrition plays a very important role in preventive as well as curative methods along with homeopathy you know homeopathy will act even better and faster if proper uh, nutrition is taken care of. So it goes hand in hand. It is a symbiotic relationship is what I would uh, uh, state it as. Because both are uh, natural ways of healing and the diet that we promote here is also very, very simple, healthy, tasty and wherein uh, the main aim is that, you know, we don't want to give a diet diet, but rather make it a way of life, not just for patients, but even everyone at home. Wouldn't that be wonderful, no? I mean, if everybody at home can equally relish the food, the right foods, and you're not like, you know, told, no, don't eat this, don't eat that. So I'm going to introduce you to that concept. Uh, here today in my presentation, I have uh, slightly emphasized on uh, cancer patients and certain, uh, uh, you know, care that has to be taken, especially when people undergo chemotherapy and other, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, radiation or immunosuppressive therapy and everything uh, what diet should be taken care of and then in general I will be giving you tips which you can make it as a way of life and uh, with our consultations we even uh, do a lot of workshops wherein we show and demonstrate how you can do it and how you can uh, taste it what you have eaten outside is a concept of that it is absolutely oil free ghee free totally free of processed foods. It is whole grain, whole food plant-based diet. I hope you all have enjoyed the idli snack, idli. the idli that I'm talking about. Yeah, we'll surely, surely give you. <laughs> okay, I'll just begin with my presentation now. Uh, nutrition, as uh, Sujit sir mentioned, is, uh, plays a very important role in cancer care. Now, uh, I would not, uh, just to begin with, risk for cancer, there is a lifetime risk whether you will have cancer or not. There is a relative risk wherein certain habits because of which you can have cancer. Like say for instance smoking, 30% of all cancer deaths, 87% of lung cancer deaths, smoking is responsible. So we all know smoking is a bad habit, we don't have to do this. So lifestyle uh, things also we have to be careful of. Obesity, one of the major causes. And we all know today everything, all the processed foods and junk foods that are available, it is a major, major concern. And it is also responsible for 50% higher risk for breast cancer in postmenopausal women and 40% higher risk in colon cancer for men. Apart from that, there are external factors, internal factors, your immune conditions, as uh, Dr. Chatterjee has already mentioned. So a lot of hormones Dr. Amruta mentioned, all these factors are there. Now the key points uh, for a cancer patient is uh, when it comes to uh, nutrition along with medication. Good nutrition is very, very important for cancer patients. For the kind of, uh, you know, uh, symptoms that they are going through emotionally, physically, good nutrition is very important for cancer patients. Now, what is nutrition basically? It is a process in which food is taken in and used by the body for growth and to keep the body healthy and to replace tissue, right? So it is very important to eat the right kinds of food before, during and after treatment. To have the right kind of drinks and eatables which contain all the nutrients, that is your carbohydrate, protein, fat, minerals, vitamins. Everything is essential. We cannot, uh, you know, uh, kind of say that, oh no, just go on high protein diets. Yes, protein is very, very important for calories as well as strength in cancer patients. No doubt about it. But there has to be a balance in everything. Just protein cannot do all your functions. So it is very important to have the right kind of food. Now, healthy eating habits and good nutrition. 
they help you deal better with cancer and its treatment so along with homeopathic medication see one very beautiful aspect that came through uh, sir's uh, patients is that they didn't have a lot of side effects because they were on medication but still there are a lot of patients who have a lot of side effects so if at that time when it is coupled with good nutrition that can be dealt in a much better way it gives you that fighting spirit that most of the cancer patients have uh, described good nutrition will give you that uh, fighting uh, mechanism you know to uh, uh, combat all the illness and all the side effects of cancer so that is a very important thing patients who are well nourished will have a better prognosis and a better quality of life better prognosis or achhi zindagi hoegi or or uh, quality of life will improve also cancer can change the way the body uses food it produces sometimes certain chemicals that change the way it uses nutrients so you know sometimes we cannot absorb all the nutrients cancer patients especially you know when they have stomach or colon cancer it is very difficult so it is very important that we give a right kind of diet that is easily digestible to them cancer and cancer treatments may affect nutrition like all the surgery chemotherapy radiation we've already seen this Uh, especially when the head neck esophagus stomach or intestines esophagus is your food pipe uh, are affected by cancer treatment it is very hard to take enough nutrients to stay healthy now the side effects of cancer and cancer treatment that are generally seen loss of appetite mouth sores dry mouth nausea vomiting diarrhea constipation pain depression anxiety all these are very very common symptoms that we deal with in day to day terms so here the role of nutrition plays a very very important role i will just give you some handy tips uh, now one is the foods that have to be avoided especially during and after chemotherapy okay hot and spicy foods that is you know hot pepper aapka mirchi wala khana curries hai uh, kajun spices like you know very very uh, spicy things that you put wo sab avoid karna hai fatty greasy foods fatty greasy fried foods very sweet sugar foods sugary foods they may give you energy but there is a lot of chemicals a process that is happening sugar is a processed element sugar is the next big poison by the way for a lot of illnesses so uh, that then large meals large meals won't help you know at a time uh, you don't eat for a long time and then all of a sudden you stuff in it is very difficult to digest especially when you are suffering from something and you are going to take medication i mean as in chemotherapy so uh, large meals should be avoided rather take short meals at short intervals and uh, minimum uh, breaks you know two two hour breaks foods with strong smells now foods that are warm tend to smell stronger so it is uh, advisable that you take refrigerated or room temperature room temperature is the ideal temperature on which the food should be consumed especially when you're going through this then eating or drinking quickly you know uh, it's always known that in our uh, ancestors also have always been saying that you know shanti se khana khao baith ke khana khao that time no tv no distractions eat well so that you know your body can absorb everything drinking beverages with meals again you know caffeine coffee tea all these beverages should not be had with meals you know keep it as simple as possible uh, lying down immediately after a meal you know we all say that you should have a slight walk some walk before you lie down so immediately after a meal do not do that uh, beverages that should be avoided that are very hot or very cold so uh, a high temperature basically uh, extremes of temperature should be avoided room temperature is ideal beverages containing caffeine that is coffee strong tea soda chocolate also avoid milk uh the whole food plant based diet that i'm going to introduce you to is basically wherein we derive all foods we eat that are derived from plants milk uh, nowadays is no longer uh, as pure as it used to be i think everybody is aware they are injecting hormones in the cows and they are giving you that milk it is creating a ruckus in the body so we don't want that so these are the things to be avoided now uh, what is a plant based diet it is mainly the emphasis is to eat plant foods that is everything that is derived from plants like your fruits vegetables as sir said have plenty of servings because it it will build your immune system good food is 
good immune system. Poor food is poor immune system. So eat five or more servings of variety of vegetables and fruits each day. They, they contain natural sugar. They contain natural elements and especially organic as sir mentioned because you know organic foods uh, they are 30% higher the rate than the normal foods. Maybe in your day to day life you know all of a sudden to get to organic but you can start it like you know one time of the meal you can at least begin with organic. Your dry groceries you substitute. The taste will tell you. Now there is a big debate you know uh, how do we know that this is organic food. You know people just say and claim. But the taste will tell you something that you've had 30 years ago. Okay, the taste will tell you today the bananas that you green in the uh, that you get in the market are yellow. If you remember 20, 25 years ago, they were always green, the ripe bananas. Okay, so if you order the organic ones, they'll be green. Also, uh, today, you know, to keep them for a longer time, they, these apples are wax coated. The corporate life has come in, you know, everything looks same and uh, spick and span. But nature is not that way. In nature, there'll be something which is small, something which is big something which is thin, something which is plump. So if you see those apples, the gouty apples, even if you go to a normal vendor, they are a little cheaper. <laughs> the, the thing is, it's very sometimes uh, hilarious that, you know, these apples have come from New Zealand. They all look the same. How can it be same? Nature has not been that way. So opt for organic foods. Try it out. Once you try it out, today what you have eaten also outside, it was totally made of organic uh, red rice. Okay. So um, choose whole grain in preference to processed foods. So in uh, processed foods meaning refined grains and sugars. So we would say that you know instead of your white rice, opt for your brown rice or red rice, which is red, uh, less polished. Your uh, poha, you get your brown poha, red poha. Opt for that rather than your white poha. Sabudana is again processed. So you know we give a substitute that you can use pearl barley for it. So we are trying to make a diet where, you know, people can uh, eat uh, with taste and they don't, uh, you know, kind of compromise so much on the taste. And um, limit consumption of red meats, as Sir said, non-vegetarian food is not good. Uh, those high in fat and processed and eventually completely go off meat and non-vegetarian dishes. Because they are all, uh, you know, uh, they, they are putting hormones to preserve it and other chemicals. Try and be as much as chemical free as you can be. Also, uh, we have seen a lot of cases in this one year, you know, that I have been associated with the other song. We are seeing a lot of clinical cases, apart from obesity being a disorder, but other clinical cases. We have seen a huge amount of kidney failure cases, cancer cases, especially in non-vegetarian uh, eaters. We do not uh, want to say that, you know, every non-vegetarian person will get it, but it is a preventive measure. Once in a while, you can junk up. If you see uh, uh, in the jungles, you know, a uh, long time back, uh, when they would uh, take, uh, you know, they would maybe uh, eat something, kill, so kill an animal and eat. For days together, they would not eat anything because your body cannot digest it. And now it is available, all these processed foods, you know, uh, just a snap of a finger, it is available everywhere and which is creating uh, so many problems. Previously, these diseases were not heard so commonly which is the case now. So I think the food industry has a major role to play in it. Then uh, alcohol beverages should not be consumed, we all know that. And uh, smoking tobacco should be stopped completely and especially who are suffering from cancer, lung cancer and uh, this, it has to be completely stopped. Now proteins, generally your doctors will say, you know, uh, whichever uh, allopathic doctor or they will say that get a lot of proteins because you need a lot of strength and calories, right, when you're combating a disease and when you're going through these treatments. So where can you get your proteins from your plant sources? Your lentils, your grains, sprouts, apka chana dal, mung dal, all these dals, they are all very natural rich sources of protein. Also, every fruit, every vegetable, every tuber, they all contain some amount of protein. If you see the nutrition books, okay, it is uh, very clearly we have written, you know, if it is a beetroot, yes, okay, beetroot has this much of carbohydrate, this much of fat, this much of protein. Your nuts are a very good source of protein. So everything that you get from plants, everything has some amount of protein in it. These are the things which have high amount of protein, your nuts, your seeds, nowadays a lot of seeds are available. 
if you remember like you know previously uh, uh, this now summer time will come watermelon seeds people remove it and roast it and keep it now it's available in the market sunflower seeds they all are very good sources of protein so you need not be concerned about that there has to be a balance in it yeah uh, one more thing that we introduce uh, our patients to is smoothies early in the morning what we try and tell them is on empty stomach have a fruit drink along with some greens raw greens we generally don't tend to eat raw greens which are very rich in chlorophyll and phytonutrients which actually help fight our can help fight cancer cell growth and act as an antioxidant in the body so for an example uh, we would uh, the simplest example i can give you is a banana smoothie say bananas are available all uh, throughout the year so you uh, take suppose uh, one banana chop it put it in your blender add water depending upon how thick how thin you want and add any green leaf to it it could be anything that could be your spinach it could be your dhania pudina uh, lettuce celery add anything to it okay just nothing then you know just add four five mint leaves and some dhania to it and uh, crush it in the uh, blender and pour it in the glass if you want for taste some rock salt if you want to add and have it in the morning this smoothie will act as a detox you know there's this detox world that we are in detox you can just make it at home we don't need to give you like you know have this juice that juice just make it at home it's as simple as that this way when you mix the greens you know you don't compromise on the taste you get the uh, benefits of all the raw greens which you will you may not chew very properly but because it goes in the blender you will get all the nutrients so this is a very simple way like you know when we uh, see patients we give them a lot of such options which they can try and we uh, even conduct cooking classes where we show you know how we can make anjeer barfi without ghee and without uh, oil okay so where we actually demonstrate and you can taste what you have already had a taste of the idlis today yeah uh you can have snoops for snack time that is the way you can include in your diet your vegetables you know four to five portions you can have a raw smoothie or you can have a oh, what do you call soup that way of vegetables uh this picture is basically have a rainbow diet we call it the rainbow diet so have all the colors that are there more the color you'll get more of antioxidants so have a rainbow diet eat everything they are appealing to the eye as well as uh, to your tummy also plant based foods are much easily digested as compared to other foods processed foods once you are on a plant based diet and once you make it a way of living you will realize after a month if you know you may sometimes be tempted to have those potato chips you know those oily fried and after just one or two bites you'll be like why oh, why did i have it you know you won't feel very good about it it will emotionally also and mentally you will also uh, you know feel more energetic more reactive and proactive now handy tips as to how do you go about it okay one is uh, this the nutritionist can help you decide plan ahead plan a daily menu in advance okay you need to stock up items in your house so that you won't go for those unhealthy options if that is not there you will by default you know then whatever is available when you are hungry you are going to eat it so it is very important to plan ahead make every bite count choose high calorie and protein foods easily soluble fiber foods so you can have your nuts your walnuts almonds you know in mid morning meals or uh, the healthy snack that way so especially for cancer patients because for them it is very important because anorexia is a very common symptom that we see in cancer patients loss of appetite and loss of energy and the immune system will go down so it is very important that they eat the right kind of diet pack snacks to keep on hand at all times so have healthy snacks that you've packed pack a fruit when you go to office you know when you're uh, working or whenever on traveling you can pack fruits dry fruits nuts you can make brown poha chivda raw you can i mean just roast it and you know just pack it so that you don't have to eat a uh, vada pav or a samosa on the way uh strive to at least one th uh, eat at least one third of your calorie and protein needs at breakfast this is especially for cancer patients because throughout the day we don't know how the day is going to proceed so during breakfast if you can see to it that you know their sprouts are there or some uh, dal ka you know chilla has been made so uh, or nuts you know in your mid in the morning early morning section when you are hungry try and feed it so that throughout the day then you know you'll be more energetic eat 5 to 6 meals per day this helps to sneak in extra calories and protein 
ब्रेक डिवाइड योर मील्स एवरी टू आवरली ईट वट एवर यू फील लाइक बट हेल्दी एंड टेस्टी डोंट बी अफ्रेड टू ट्राई समथिंग न्यू दिस माई जस्ट पार्क योर एपेटाइट वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ रेसिपीज वेर इन वी कैन शो यू हाव यू कैन यू नो ईट हेल्दी एंड टेस्टी स्टफ एंड बी श्योर टू फॉलो गुड माउथ केयर प्रैक्टिसिस सो मे बी यू नो विथ लेमन यू कैन लेमन वॉटर यू कैन डू गागल स्पेशली कैंसर पेशेंट्स वेन दे आर गोइंग थ्रू दीज थेरेपीज एंड एवरी थिंग दे कैन डू दैट फॉर देयर सोर माउथ एंड एवरी थिंग ऑल्सो वी फॉलो ऑन अदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रूल दैट लिसन टू योर बॉडी when you are eating we don't give measurements that eat this much or that much listen to your body when it is hungry you feed it there is no quantity measurement that we do whenever you are hungry you feed it with the right kind of food and you will be sorted also very important avoid using non stick cookware teflon is one of the major causes teflon coated that today you know as uh, in fact they are saying that even they add some bit of asbestos okay which is very very one of the most uh, occupational hazard i would say you know for people working in that year so avoid using non stick cookware you get ceramic cookware nowadays outside you can use that or your iron tawa jo pehle use karte the that is the best solution iron tawa avoid using plastic plastic dabbas plastic bottles i mean everywhere there's so much of plastic so you get a lot of uh, these uh, what you call other options steel or uh, any other this you you get those steel bottles also use that uh, try and use organic food as much as possible you can begin with your domestic uh, domestic groceries like your dals and all you can make it organic nowadays it's available all over or uh, online also it is available and the taste will definitely tell you what is organic what is not try to use herbal shampoo soaps detergent this is a lifestyle change especially for cancer people where you know you try and be as much as possible chemical free there are many things that we can't really help like pollution hai wifi radiation all these things we can't help but whatever we can take care of let us take care of that yeah thank you any questions yeah 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 i can hear you but th- because they are recording the mic is needed uh yeah you uh, see uh, if uh, if you're feeling low on energy levels and you've been advised even we say check your vitamin d3 levels and vitamin b12 because nowadays even in organic the soil has changed so much that you know it is very difficult to get vitamin b12 so please take your capsules okay not a problem with that right. there's no problem right now Every with that every day or should they be taken three or four times a week see it depends upon how you're feeling it it will be a personal thing once i know your case i will be able to guide you accordingly i cannot give you a general dictum that you know this should not be taken or this should be taken we see the overall patient whatever treatments they are going through if it is suiting you then we may not uh, you know taper it or we need to design a diet that you know yes you are getting those juices also uh, one second before we proceed for the questions i would like to show you all a video of a cancer uh, patient who was treated by dr rajan shankaran and had undergone nutritional advice just a minute uh, this is a very uh, short video the patient was overwhelming in her response it was a very long one so we had to edit it it was a skype call radiation it went to 10 uh, 10 10.5 yeah 10 it went i was i was always 11 11.5 not beyond that uh, um, but um, uh, after radiation it came to 10 and then again i brought all this uh, you know all green vegetables uh, jo bhi hara sabzi hai uh, all the greens that was available in the market was brought every day and made and um, soup agera because i am not comfortable with uh, uh, any um, uh, uh, any english medicines in terms of iron mujhe iron ka allergy hai english medicines mein bachpan se hi allergy raha karta tha so uh, only green vegetables se maine apna hemoglobin badhaya hua hai 
तो आपने आपका डाइट एंड ऑल नट्स एंड ऑल दैट एंड दैट सूप दैट यू टोल्ड लास्ट टाइम दैट यू टेल अर टू मेक सूप फॉर यू सो शी मेड एवरी डे यू नो कभी ग्रीन सूप या कभी पालक का सूप या कभी कोई भी ग्रीन वेजिटेबल का सूप या तो मेरा हीमोग्लोबिन तो इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव तक बढ़ गया दो रेडिएशन के बाद इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव तक आया है तो आई एम रियली थैंकफुल बिकॉज जनरली आई वॉज ऑलरेडी इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव उससे ज्यादा मैं गई नहीं हूँ so that is really thankful to nutrition because uh, i come from a very a family which has like low homo hemoglobin family so i also have i menstruate also so given all that you know i'm like really thankful for the diet that i have been eating and that that you put me across uh, um uh, and this time actually na call isliye maine postpone kiya tha kyunki i was thinking he might give me one more dose because they don't see i they, they don't suspect can they give they give as prevention कि नहीं नहीं कुछ आना नहीं चाहिए करके दे देते हैं तो मैंने सोचा ये बार भी वो देगा क्योंकि उसने ऐसे ही बोला था कि मैडम फर्स्ट टू इयर्स को हम लोग थोड़ा थोड़ा डोजेस देके ना पहले से रेडी कर देते हैं सो दैट बॉडी विल नॉट यू नो विल नॉट जनरेट तो मैं गई वैसे सोच के गई थी पर जब हम बहुत पॉजिटिव सोच के जाते हैं कि ना अब की बार तो मैं जीत कर आऊंगी अब मैं करने नहीं दूंगी दे पॉइजनिंग माय बॉडी एंड एवरी टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू गो थ्रू दिस एंड आई एम गोइंग टू फिर उसको ठीक करने को मुझे बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट लगता है तो मैं बड़ा बगावत के साथ गई थी कि वाई डू यू हैव टू गिव मी वेन नथिंग इज देयर इन साइड मी वेन देर आर नो कैंसर सेल वाई डू यू हैव टू ड्रग मी काइंड ऑफ थिंग ये सोच के गई थी और उन्होंने ही बोल दिया कि यू नो वी विल डू मेंटेनेंस ओनली वी विल डू वन से ईयर रिव्यू जरूरत पड़े तो ही देंगे नहीं तो नहीं देंगे आप बिल्कुल फिट हो योर कैंसर फ्री एंड यू कैन गो एंड डू एनी वर्क यू वॉन्ट बिकॉज आई नो लास्ट टाइम एन ई रेडिएटेड मी आई हैव टू गो थ्रू लॉर्ड ऑफ स्ट्रगल टू ब्रिंग बैक द हेमोग्लोबिन and thanks to the cook and thanks to you you know uh, jo jo aapne kaha usne mere ko bana ke diya bola didi mere ko ye sab tamil mein likhe de do main aapko bana dungi my one year experience has been wonderful with other song uh, it has been like uh, you know a place where i got lot of things from take away i came with a lot of crises and issues with my health uh, i was uh, i was scattered with a disease and the disease of uh, cancer and you know going through the treatment of cancer and i was in a very uh, both uh, mind body and spirit all the three were scattered when i came to other song it was in a stage where i was like you know yaar abhi yahan se mera aage kya hoga that was the stage i came when i met dr shankar for the first time there in bombay uh, there was a lot of hope that was given to me and uh, when i was getting those hope i was always looking forward that all this comes true let this hope come true and as time passed by the hope started to become true the hope started to work on me and there was always a doctor available for me always dr arti budani was always available via skype and via uh, whatsapp uh, you know whenever i was not well or anything when i had a flu um i need not have to go to allopathic doctor rushing for a crocin or an antibiotic i will go to arti budani and i will just tell ping her saying i am having a flu and uh, you know i am having high temperature and i need help and she will tell take sp1 or sp2 and uh, i will take that and then by one or two hours it will come down so uh do proximity people say proximity or your distance uh, is there and all that i found the, that other song was like much closer to than uh, allopathic doctor who is close by you know i could reach my doctors very well on time and very prompt and responsive she is from bangalore <laughs> so we had a wonderful result as you've seen so uh, yes homeopathic medication coupled with the right diet i think uh, the prognosis will be better and uh, we'll hope to a, you know a much better uh, environment for cancer patients and i hope this uh, whole uh, seminar has guided everybody with respect to prevention treatment and its outcome yeah Yeah, uh, very simple. Uh, just uh, take a uh, water in a glass and uh, squeeze some lemon into it, and uh, you can uh, you know tell them to drink and gargle. So that that acts as an antiseptic thing, you know. Vitamin C, uh, lemon is known for vitamin C, ascorbic acid. So it will help for that. Also, if it is very painful, we generally advise that you all take candies. Means not those processed ones outside. You can just like you know ice when you're putting the ice cubes, you know, just add some mint flavor or something like that to it, and uh, they can just suck on to it. That will like you know maybe give them some relief. Also, when it comes to oral intake. uh you can have these smoothies which can be made very thin with a fruit inside so which will give them the right energy also also uh instead of sugar you know because sugar is plays a very important role in our lives today so to go completely off sugar 
we substitute it with uh, date paste. Date आपका खजूर जो है डीसीट करके उसको भिगा दीजिए फॉर लाइक हाफ एन आवर एंड देन यू क्रश इट इन द मिक्सी विथ वॉटर इन इट डिपेंडिंग हाउ थिक हाउ थिन यू वॉन्ट इट सो दैट इज अ नेचुरल स्वीटनर विच यू कैन जस्ट मे बी एड इन योर इवन इफ यू आर गिविंग योर नींबू शरबत इंस्टेड ऑफ योर शुगर यू कैन एड दिस डेट पेस्ट इन टू दैट और काला गुड एज अ बट डेट पेस्ट वुड बी अ बिकॉज इवन योर जैगरी इज प्रोसेस्ड Yeah, you can do that. You can do that. That should not, as in, yeah. So you will have to like you know give the, mainly the patient has to be on juices. I think that would be easily tolerated by them. So a lot of fruit juices and vegetable juices and soups that would be easily tolerated. And then you know in these smoothies sometimes what we do is for that protein if like you know the patient is feeling very weak we add some seeds like nowadays these chia seeds, sunflower seeds. We just crush it so that you know they can just gulp it down and they'll get it. or nuts are a very good source but nuts again might be very difficult for them to digest it varies if a person is having diarrhea because of this uh, cancer treatment we would not give nuts so you know this is not a uh, i would uh, the depending upon the patient i will take a call of what sources i want to include ma'am please uh, to uh, the doctor has told to gargle with soda water So yeah soda water yes Th that's it's fine. okay it's okay that's because uh, uh, that gives relief to the patient also and it's better it's okay that's fine thank you this the minute can you just take the mic please yeah is it okay to have seafood you said all non veg food like uh, you know you should avoid oh, i understand with red meat and uh, all the processed meats i understand but how about fish and i mean how about seafood see uh, when we uh, when we advise a whole food plant based diet even fish is out of it today marine pollution is another high it's on another high trust me on that and secondly uh, when you're following see there are a few diets like mediterranean diets where they will you know say that please use fish once a day okay do not combine two diets when you're following one you stick to one particular way of diet that you're following if you will combine this from this and that from this it will not work so combine because the, every diet has their own research i would not label any diet as you know wrong or right whatever suits you we will see and work upon it and secondly uh, mm. like uh, alcohol overall is bad or like suppose red wine is okay is it is see it uh, there are studies that they say but it is not conclusive the problem is it is not conclusive red wine has reverstatin there is a uh, yeah uh, so but they say that you know it is not conclusive that it will help in preventing cancer no 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 it's not about preventing cancer but does it cause see causative factors as such also uh, see a lot of people are eating even uh, junk food and it can still cause and it cannot cause so nothing is conclusive that this particular thing will cause and cause only in every particular person it varies multiple factors act no, in it no the thing is that what happens suppose if you are in if you are in a habit of going out mm -hmm. and everybody around you is uh, having wine or suppose is drinking ha 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 do you know is it I mean, at that time you feel that you be isolated, and you keep thinking about that. Oh, your life has changed. Is that a better option, or is it a better option see, to have ideally, something? See, ideally, ideally, alcohol. See, that is what it varies from person to person. If you ask me from nutrition point of view, yes, alcohol is a no, no. Secondly, we generally tell patients who are into drinking and everything. We say that continue the drink for a longer time. okay yeah, i mean uh, do not like you know finish your shots very early and you have to take so continue it for a longer okay, time and months in a while depending from person to person but nutrition wise if you have two glasses of wine is it something that you can have before it and after it so that suppose you you are i mean whatever alcohol causes dehydration or uh, some increase in estrogen yeah. or whatever it can be curbed down i mean can you eat something before having or after having that uh whatever it whatever that thing does like no no there is nothing like that for alcohol that you know you like can like suppose if you have a lemon shot after it or if you have is there is there something like that that you can no 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 okay no what do you say about the soya milk 
so yeah okay that's a good question uh, see uh, soya milk that you get outside again it is uh, it has some chemicals in it but we do allow soya milk in vegan diets but if you are having thyroid problems or if you cannot digest soya we tell you not to have soya even gluten free diets are there okay that they are they are advised especially for uh, you know stomach cancer and the gut cancer and everything if it is not suiting you you do not eat otherwise we don't say that don't eat uh, to have a gluten free diet it is a plant based thing if it is suiting you and not creating any problems like bloating and other things we say okay it is okay then if you have it but yes in some cases we do if we think that you know it is going to affect the we start with a gluten free diet and then maybe gradually introduce so there are uh, various uh, theories that are going around there is another uh, thing called as nori protocol but all that has to be done under guidance so what we would say is that you follow one particular uh, uh, whatever diet you are following from your nutritionist stick to that and follow that thoroughly rather than mixing two things you know uh, that would not be a very good idea caffeine is not good it leaches the body of calcium and uh, it is a processed thing so we instead of see if you want to sip something hot right so instead of tea you can have your herbal tea just ghar pe aap uh, garam pani green tea green tea is different from herbal tea green tea is okay yes better than your normal tea and herbal tea is nothing just take your lemon grass green chai patti pudina dalo adrak dalo <laughs> just boil it tulsi <laughs> this whole diet whole food plant based diet if you follow it thoroughly it will definitely help you increase your white blood cells uh, this, uh, curd is or we do not uh, advise on milk and curd because everything is uh, now no longer that pure and it is creating problems so a vegan a vegan diet is primarily without milk and a whole food uh, plant based diet is basically whatever that is plant based we have because milk again has digestive issues and a lot of other problems we've seen eliminating milk from the diet has gone a long way in helping patients yeah sugar nahi <laughs> brown sugar brown sugar is again processed so uh, uh, you can either take the date paste or your kala good which is less processed the organic one or you can uh, i don't know now even in nature's basket i think they've started selling maple syrup and uh, apple syrup if you see the contents if you read it then there is no sugar and very less chemical i mean chemical free hai is the best i wouldn't say it's the best <laughs> see we have a list of vendors also where we given to patients you know they can call them and ask them for delivery one or two days ke baad they provide the organic food okay plus there are sites like uh, bigbasket.com organic india so there are these sites from where you can uh, take things online even these big stores like big bazaar aapka uh, reliance hai uh, all these big stores also have now started uh, keeping an organic section where organic uh, uh, what do you call these dals and grains and everything is available cost wise it is uh, see you will have to compare the prices okay there are some uh, brands like uh, pure and sure 24 mantra there will be a difference you can select whatever you want and it is generally 30% more expensive than your uh, normal uh, groceries so uh, i mean uh, you can gradually you know try it out you know for something uh, like you know i was just talking to uh, miss jigisha as she was saying that you have to try out something when she met dr shankaran for something so she said let me also try it out unless you don't try it out you know this will this is just information what you've eaten outside is organic please understand that's why also the taste is differing it, it was organic red rice whatever we have a taste of lounge health uh, in our cafeteria where uh, after every uh, diet and nutrition session we have kept a complimentary dish for patients so that they can understand that this can be equally tasty and from whomever we get it made it is certified by our nutritionist me and there's my colleague dr namrata in the mornings we work on the same guidelines that everything that is used is organic it is oil free ghee free totally free of processed foods like little bit here and there you know me, me if uh, there is some chikki that is available yes good use karna padta hai jo kala wala good hai but theek hai na as long as you are sticking to a good diet overall diet it is not a problem so we see to it that it is uh, organic and yeah yeah i mean yes and if plant based foods are generally alkaline ma'am so if you make it a way of your life 
like you know having at regular intervals the baking soda we don't use in this uh, sorry in this idli there's no baking soda what you all had huh baking soda is different the cooking soda yeah yeah uh, but we don't use soda we don't use about gluten free na mm -hmm. uh, the doctor has given mm -hmm. us the carb immune mm -hmm. to drink so can we drink th that has gluten inside you can have it if it's not affecting you it's okay because it's for ulcer yeah so you can mouth. have it you can have it if th that's what i said i have not said that you know go on a gluten free diet every cancer patient need not go on a gluten free diet see there are so many things that are coming up so i'm just trying to clarify but you can have it if your doctor has uh, said a uh, yes with the gluten there's no problem we don't make every cancer patient of gluten free it said that right. it's for ulcers that yeah yeah so it's okay it's absolutely fine okay yeah no egg no but not the animal protein we uh, we focus on the plant protein proteins derived from plants that are easy to i didn't get you that's okay we're talking about the egg protein vegetables so whatever vegetables we are getting will wash it in warm water yeah yeah so that is what i mean if organic is not an option just see to it that you wash your vegetables thoroughly and you use it it is better than all the other processed foods so you don't have curd also you think yeah no curd we have uh, you know we make rice and peanut curd there are different options which are very near to curd it won't be like your milk curd <laughs> okay no we do not advise we advise on a completely milk free diet milk and milk products no milk and milk products <laughs> ice cream again is a milk product we do make vegan ice creams uh, without milk we do make <laughs> Yeah, so you know, from uh, we make uh, ice cream from brown rice and tender coconut malai, and you know we freeze it, and it's equally tasty. So we do make that. See, we we conduct cooking classes, if, like you know, for the Holi uh, coming up in March, we are going to have a. Uh, thandai all over Maharashtra. We've seen whatever dishes that are there, and we are going to demonstrate. My colleague is going to take that workshop. we take it in turns so the last one i had conducted in december now she's going to conduct so wherein we are going to show you puran poli also without your uh, you know the sweetening without sugar and without that how you can make then there is thandai and kachori baked kachoris so we are going to uh, you can register for those classes you can come for a diet and a nutrition once you start attending those classes you'll get the grip as to how we go about it once you uh, actually see it and also uh, with our consultations we do whichever patient comes to us whatever they really like we try and find a substitute a vegan substitute that can be as close as possible to the normal taste and we g uh, share the recipe with the patient yeah even on the blog the other song blog once in a while we do put up like the banana smoothie we did put it like you know every season jo hai abhi mango mango season will come so we will put a healthy mango dish on the blog so you can view that also no not really no nah, nothing like that all fruits and vegetables see the problem is that you know what has happened is over a period of time that uh, you know even diabetes when we tell them banana smoothie like diabetes can be reversed by this whole food plant based diet thoroughly okay we've seen cases live cases um, what happens is you know they say it is okay to have the processed foods fruit has never created problem in man any natural food has not created any health issues as such it is the processed foods so when we say completely stop that and you go on this diet the food banana sugar won't really harm you but you stop all the other uh, processed things that you are having completely then it will help you so you're getting your good omega 3 fats from your nuts your nuts are your almonds walnuts uh, your seeds uh, then uh, all your grains your jowar bajra dals they all have fat in it that's the good fat ma'am any oil is the same they're all processed okay we in fact we advise oil free food okay but uh, we do advise because it's not practically possible sometimes we allow one tablespoon of oil throughout the day to be used 
you can maybe shift your oils you know once if you are using this particular oil after that next month another oil but all oils are processed eventually so any oil any oil is the same they are processed cow ghee no no i i told you milk and milk products are out <laughs> Yeah, you can use it, but as long as you use it in minimal quantity, just one tablespoon a day, not more than that. In our diet, we say that one tablespoon of oil, and your, you'll get your oils even from your uh, nuts and uh, grains and everything. So we suggest on a healthy diet, which will take care of all your uh, nutrients. So that will help you. We do not suggest that you know take more oil that that will lubricate your skin from within. No, that doesn't happen. What are you saying? Egg? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, thank, thank you, you so much, Komal. Did very thank well. Thank you so much. I hope it was informative. <laughs> to avoid confusion, it doesn't mean you have to follow that only, but don't mix it. If I see my patient is depending on protein diet too much, she is a non-vegetarian or he is a non-vegetarian, suddenly I will not advise her to go for vegan diet. It depends. If he's a vegetarian, guju patient, anyway, not taking meat, kabi kabi dahi leta hai, milk nahi leta hai. For him or her, it is okay. Also, I had mentioned, as sir said, that non-vegetarian patients, we taper it off gradually. It has to come from within also, you know, that it is not good for... Uh, so, we do it very gradually. We don't like, you know, depending from patient to patient, we give our consultation. And for example, a kidney failure patient, in spite of taking dialysis, creatinine is increasing, not helping. For a change, I will say strictly follow her advice. Maybe it can bring a drastic change. I will say strictly follow. So it depends. A cancer patient not eating, this can be dangerous sometimes. Advanced cancer, let him eat at least, nutrition is must. But in a kidney case, very easily it can be followed. So it, depend, it depends. But I will strictly advise, milk you are not taking, <coughs> you are avoiding egg, you are avoiding other milk products, that is okay. Ghee also you are avoiding, but you are taking card. This is not a vegan diet, don't do that. It is more dangerous. Do it properly or don't do it, this is my advice. Yeah, very true, sir. Thank you. Some questions, if remaining, one or two, I would like to answer. Otherwise, is there any question to me or, or our team? So what remedies do you give uh, while eating the food? Huh? Remedies? Remedies, it is technical. You can meet me personally if you are a homeopath, I will tell you. I, am a I will tell you. Just meet me later on or be my assistants, I will tell you. Thank you so much for coming and participating. It was very pleasure to share. And especially those who are having the disease and shared, I'm obliged. Once I was in USA and one lung cancer patient got healed without any treatment. And she just came for some meeting or something, some relative's case, really advanced lung cancer. And when I asked what is the secret, she said, in my oncologist outside cabin, when I see so many cancer patients and when they are healed, that discussion helped me to combat with the cancer without any treatment. That immunity increased by hearing stories of healthy patients. So that was my stimulation to call you all and share our experience, and we together will fight the cancer. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.